uh, good evening everyone my name is harshavardhini an engineering student from coimbatore i am here to share my ideas on whether there should be a ban on smoking in public places or not my first question is who are the people gathering public places there won't be any restrictions in age group of the people who gather in a public place there will be a person uh, right from a month old baby to a older person with an age of 80 and above a person who usually smokes will be at an age of 18 and above they know what are the consequences and the health issues they are about to face due to smoking even then they do it's because they become addicted to smoke i don't know why these people are like this some may say that they feel uh, they smoke for a reason but my idea but uh, what i say is this is all to make feel correct themselves for what they do by smoking not only the smokers get affected it also affects the passive smokers that is the person who stands beside a smoker why should the other persons who don't prone to smoke or other bad habits should get affected due to others mistake according to me smoking in public place should be banned throughout the country it cannot be done in an override but it can be made uh, step by step as an initiative for this the main victims that is the smokers they must have their own conscience that they shouldn't smoke in their public places the next the the shop owners who sell the smoking cigarettes should hang a board in front of their shop and instruct them not to smoke this avoids the chance of many students getting addicted to smoke nowadays next we must advise the person not to smoke when we are in, in a place where they smoke we must not allow people to smoke in our resident residence area next within a street then we must make it within a region and then it should be increased when it uh, then uh, the condition should come that the person should not smoke in a in a country a government uh, rule can be uh, implemented to avoid smoking if we do so then we would be a, then we uh, ahead of creating a smoke free healthy generation to make a good nation thank you yeah harshavardhini uh, that was really a very good speech uh, regarding the ban on smoking in public places uh, but uh, i would like to say only one thing to you that is please don't look at that paper see whatever comes in your mind you just uh, just sparkle it just uh, throw it out so that it will be so natural but today's speech i would like to say that is the way you expressed what was very good okay i hope to see you again in uh, some other uh, competitions also but in that competition i would like to see you bang okay and it is a good start very good hashwati um hello there this is dilip kumar from 3 dvc and doing my ug graduation at kg is institute of technology and i am here to speak a few words on the topic uh, getting privileged yeah, giving a special privilege to a mom like a special mom we would say so um, giving special privilege to a mom means um, first of all if we think about our the word mom first what will come in our mind like doing some household works or uh, as well as doing household works and being a business magnet or doing some private sector works like these things so if they do these things as well as the household works so how they will be um, suffered in the society as well because uh, they want to take care of themselves uh, for facing in the society and not uh, doing these two things uh it doesn't matter like we will think about it but uh, doing household works and like uh, washing cleaning clothes and doing more than this uh it takes many time and the most importantly i would say that uh, um a person who doesn't person who doesn't um 
think about herself but uh, she will think about everything but not about him herself uh, if we think about uh, some example if we think about an example um, like if we go for uh, some sh shopping or groceries like those stuff um, they will try to save money as much as possible so they will not uh, take us my take more much money for themselves but they used to save money even though they save money they will uh, spend the money for uh, their child's welfare so see to that how it things happen and um, we will say in tamil like anna manasu da amma so the great um, motivation as well as uh, the great relationship in the world is amma so after doing a eight hours of work and uh, doing house works like these things and taking care of ourselves because it's a major thing they, they want to do they want to do so after these things they will save money and uh, they will do many things after this things so it takes time and um, even though they suffer a lot they will not say anything they will not tell to us but they will have in themselves and uh, keeping this thing what we can do for them or uh, like a giving a gift or the best gift for them is it uh, giving them um, a happy thing or uh, like uh, giving a pleasure or giving some peace of mind or even uh, we can say that uh, giving them or helping them in uh, household works like cleaning uh, washing clothes like that stuff the best gift is that these are not no these are not the best gift that is which we can give is that uh, um i would say that the best gift is that being a good person or uh, being a great person in our lives being stand still when we are a uh, family and uh, keeping stand still in our society as the best gift which we can give for them and guess what that's they are expecting us that's the best gift for them also so thank you for this opportunity for let's start and do as much as the competitions for many students as well thanks dilip kumar that was an amazing speech dilip kumar i would like to say that and i really appreciate the way you have expressed yourself and expressing those words is not only enough yes and uh, you have told many things related to uh, the privilege of mom everyone knows about our mom but some will uh, notice that and some will appreciate that so the appreciation you have given about her the things you have exposed that is you have highlighted uh, the work what they do and the sacrifice what they do was really amazing and uh, i thought in my point of view what i thought is the points which you have given has come from your heart so the appreciation what you are giving and the points you have given everything has come from your heart that was very amazing and i would uh, really like to see you in upcoming competitions dilip kumar because you are really amazing and everything was in a flow so i appreciate that keep going dilip kumar all the best uh, good evening everyone my name is kartik from third year department and thanking for thank you for giving this opportunity for conducting this good speech competition on second i thank you so the topic was chosen for me is how recycling will helps us uh, let me ask a question that what is recycling can you message me or uh, within a 5 seconds that's enough i can answer after that or Oh my sister. Okay, the recycling is a process. Or it's a conversion. Uh, it's a work of waste material into a reusable material, which can be reused uh, like uh, on one on time, on two time, many times. Uh, that's a recycling process. And let me uh, first of all let me brief the recycling process. For example, if you have any product, uh, for example, if you take this note. this is also recycle even this paper also recycle as a paper company then i take uh, this pencil this is also recycle 
plastic recycling because in say this and everything in our environment everything is uh, recycled paper maybe there be a raw material can be taken from a manufacturer okay let me uh, let me state only five points why recycling helps us the main point is the recycling helps energy consumption now in manufacturing industries uh, man in manufacturing industries they used to produce they used to produce more uh, energy from the, they used to produce more energy from their worldwide places for example if we take a paper paper company uh, if from paper company uh, for example if we take a paper with the takes of tons of food after that they used to manufacture it then after, after that if it, if you know recycle then the process it, it takes a more energy it it takes more consumed time so in order to reduce the energy consumption because if you know, increase the energy consumption it takes uh, more in cost that's the problem in order so we have to reduce the consumption energy uh, if you are going for the recycle process that's the first point second point is that uh, uh, it, it reduces the landfills landfills in the means uh, pollution land pollution for example uh, in most of the places we are used to throw the waste in land or in dustbin so that it takes it can make some more uh, ugly it is used to see instead of that uh, we can use uh, like uh, degradable or non degradable wastes to so that we can easily separate the which is the recycling waste and which is a non recyclable waste in the landslide so uh, next the next point is that it increases the it sorry it it minimizes the pollution pollution is the pollution is means uh, pollution is the which we which the human made which is uh, damaging the environment that's the problem right uh, so we have to reduce the pollution for example if you take air pollution uh, we are throwing the waste in dustbin or trash like a big garbage pit uh, then after that we used to burning it burning so that um, if the gases from the waste is it can contain some many chemical components or some many very dangerous gases which can help we can uh, which will truly will slaughter our health or uh, and it breaks the atmosphere uh, holds it breaks the ozone layer which is protecting ours so in for example if you take uh, water pollution if you throwing the waste in through the water uh, it will so that the fishes marine will be destroyed that's the main reason so we have to recycle water we will get so you have to recycle we have to think of it right and the third one is it improves the soil the soil the main interesting the improvement of soil is that vermicomposting for example if you take a organic wastes like some vegetable carrot some etc if you take organic wastes uh, in in we also we also trying to do the, the vermicomposting it would be nice so that the vermi the organic components has consists of more nutrients so that it can uh, it can get the soil which will which with the soil will get uh, wealthier and healthier that's the main reason of the soil erosion and the last most point is that uh, it can save the money first it can save our money right for example it can it can use it can be it can be made for both as well as manufacturer as well as consumers for example if you take a manufacturers they used to recycle by uh, by assisting their products for example i said paper right paper will get after existing after we using then after we as we have to uh, extract recycled from the pulp that paper pulp right uh, after the recycling pulp we are we from with use of some chemical substances we are making the paper more brighter that's the for, uh, that's see for a manufacturer part so that they can save the money right uh, then are the for consumer 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 means we are the consumers right so we are the what are the products we get from the manufacturer with the help of some money and we'll get the products such as like aluminum metal etc with the help of aluminum and metals we can mold and we can recycle into many shapes like many things so i conclude my speech that uh, recycling is must and recycling should be recycle should be done in each and every day like uh, even a single uh, problem for example if the pen is uh, pen as ink pen is no ink we can recycle by the changing some another pen and refill it so that we can be used like right? for example that's the main reason so so i will conclude this means that the recycling is very much important in our day to day life thank you yeah kartik you are such a uh, such a good speaker i would like to say and uh, after a uh, lot of struggle in the starting but you have uh, you have not left it 
right you will just keep on rocking you just want to just say what you whatever you want to say and that was really a, really nice and interesting about you kartik and you just shown some papers this that this is recycle that is recycle yeah you have given us a practical uh, thing uh, kartik i would like to say that and uh, and one more thing uh, i will say that uh, I I really liked your uh, speech it was uh, so nice and interesting and it was fun too <laughs> and along with the fun you have told us uh, some uh, important message about recycling and that was a very good thing keep going kartik and you have a bright future